Yo, what's up guys? I'm Bombasaur80000. Welcome back. Today we will be running through the uh, Abyss Watchers boss fight in Dark Souls 3. So, as you can see, when you enter the boss fight room, you're greeted by an Abyss Watcher. This one is the main Abyss Watcher for the first half of the boss fight. And you need to make sure that you remember this because, as you're about to see momentarily, now a second Abyss Watcher will rise and he's going to support the first one. However, if you attack the second one, it won't decrease the boss life bar at the bottom. So, what you need to do is start to defend and just keep some space when the second one rises because a third Abyss Watcher will rise, this one here with the glowing red eyes, and he will attack the other Abyss Watchers as well as you, so you're not entirely safe when he rises. But if you give him some room, he will he will help you in the fight, which is it's a super super duper big aid. Um, now the first Abyss Watcher, this one, the one that you attack and the main boss health bar depletes, uh, obviously has a larger amount of health than the other two. So. If you're fighting and the Abyss Watcher with the red eyes who assists you um, gets killed, then you're back on your own again. So you need to make sure that you draw the focus of one of the enemies away. But it's not as easy as that because once you defeat the first Abyss Watcher, as you can see I've just done here, um, that's when the real fight begins. So this time you won't be fighting multiple enemies. But you'll be fighting one strong opponent. Um, as you can see, this Abyss Watcher has a flaming sword. He deals quite a bit more damage. And he has some more wild and um, larger ranged attacks. So you, it will probably take you a couple of rounds, I think, just to learn his attack pattern, um, to get some timing down and things like that. But as you can see, it's, it's, it's doable. You just it just takes a few a few tries. Um, if you're really really getting smashed by these guys, then maybe pop a humanity and get some support. But if if you just endure and try and try again, eventually you will be able to do it yourself. So um, yeah, as you can see, timing is key and picking your moments for a return attack also key. I had a little bit of trouble because I was using a great sword, so uh, my attacks are quite a bit slower than the Abyss Watcher, or for the sake of this Abyss Watcher, we'll call him the Fire Abyss Watcher. But yeah, he, he is quite predictable once you know, so there's not that much to it. So in a nutshell, once you enter the boss fight, Make sure you deal as much damage as you can to the first Abyss Watcher. Once the second Abyss Watcher rises, take your time, dodge attacks, defend, until the third Abyss Watcher rises. The third Abyss Watcher is the one with the glowing red eyes. He will support you with the first two, but can also attack you and is quite squishy. So you need to make sure that once he rises, you separate, separate the first two. Once they're defeated, then you just need to take your time with this guy, who is the Fire Abyss Watcher, um, for the sake of explaining it. And so there you go, guys. As as you've seen, it can be done solo, or if you need help, then just bring someone in. But just a matter of timing, learning the attack pattern, and yeah, it should be good after that. Hopefully you enjoyed, and see you next time.